All right, this is fourth grade, module one, lesson 19. And in this lesson, we're kind of twisting things up a little bit. Instead of giving students a word problem and telling them to draw the tape diagram, we're doing it in reverse. The students are being given the tape diagram, and then they have to come up with a word problem that matches that tape diagram. Now, personally, when I was thinking about these lessons, I'm not entirely sure which is easier for students to be given the word problem and they create the tape diagram, or for students to be given the tape diagram and they start, they uh, have to create their own word problem to go with it. Teachers, you may want to, over the course of your years, experiment. Maybe do lesson 17 and 18 first and then le lesson 19, and then maybe one year, reverse it. Do lesson 19 first and then lesson 17 and 18. See which one works better for your students. So I'm looking at this problem and I see my tape diagram. I see redwood, cypress, dogwood. These are trees, I think. <laughs> and then it says, at the local botanical gardens there are blank redwoods. Okay, well, I'm gonna look over here and I see that there are 6,294 redwoods and there are blank cypress trees. So I can see, oh, right there. So I'll put 3,849 cypress trees. Uh, and then it says there are a total of blank redwood, cypress, and dogwood. So that means they're looking for the total. And in that case, it's 12,115, because it says so right here. How many blah 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 all right so the question is where where is the question in this tape diagram what are we being asked or what what is this tape diagram suggesting the question might be and since we ha we know how many redwoods we know how many cypress we know how many totals we don't know how many dogwoods there are so that's going to be our question so uh, a student might write how many dogwood trees are, oops, are at the garden? That's one, one potential question that students could uh, write. So now I'm looking at this and I see now they've taken away some labels, but I can see by this tape diagram, here's, here's a tape and it's got the value of 65,302. I see that the difference between these two lengths is 37,436. So that means this guy is less than this guy by 37,436. And it looks like this bracket here is saying, what is the total? All right. So let's go back over here and let's look at the, the question stems that they've given us. There are 65,302 somethings. Oh, let's say seats at the 49ers stadium. And then it says there are 37,436 fewer what? I'm going to say seats at the, I don't know, at the Giants stadium. So apparently the Giants stadium is shorter. So now what have I done? I'm going to call this the 49ers. I'm going to call this the Giants. All right. Then the question is how many blank blah 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 blahs? And that's going to be this question right here. How many and then what are we what's the total? Well what are the topics over here? Are we talking about Baseballs? Are we talking about dogs? Are we talking about dollars? No, we're talking about seats. So the question would be, how many seats are there in all? Is one kind of question that students could use. So parents and teachers, I love these kinds of questions because let the, it's an opportunity for the students to let their personality shine. 
for whatever reason, I chose a sporting uh, thing, but it, it could have been anything. So let your students have some fun in mathematics. Here, we're given even less information. We're simply given a tape diagram and are told to come up with a word problem. So, and we are told that we want to figure out this length right here. That's the, our variable. All right, so I'm going to say, oh, let's do A, B, and C as our topics. And I'm going to say that A stands for apples, B stands for bananas, and C stands for cherries. All right, and let's say we are a shipping company and we are delivering pounds of fruit, all right? So let's say the shipping company, we ship a total of 215,561 pounds of fruit. And then we could say we shipped, there were, there were, Let's see, 42,086 pounds of cherries, and I'm just going to put a C, and um, there were, now how many, how many pounds of bananas? Well, if we've decided that cherries is 42,086 pounds of cherries, are there 36,000 538 pounds of bananas? No. That's how many pounds... This 36,538 is pounds more than cherries. So the question, the statement would be there were 36,538 pounds more bananas... bananas than cherries... And then the question would be, and I'm going to scroll up a little bit, and then the question would be, how many, many pounds of apples were there? All right. And so that's one example. I don't think this is a particularly compelling uh, question that I've created. I don't think it's all that exciting. Uh, so parents and teachers, please, by all means, let your students have fun with these questions. As long as the resulting tape diagram and, sent and question are correct, boy, let their personalities shine. Here they've given us even fewer uh, pieces of information. Uh, now we have to draw the tape diagram that matches this and then create the word problem. For me, I'm just going to give you the tape diagram and then let you create your word problem. So I see that three numbers are being added to equal 40,392. So I'm going to label A, B, and C. And I'm going to say we don't know how much is A. Oftentimes I have always put a question mark here, but I'm going to use the letter A this time. And then I'm going to say B. Oh, let's make B really long right here. And B is the 27,894 pounds. And C is the 6,892 and then the total right here is going to be 40,392. And so, boy, there's lots of different kinds of questions we could ask, but essentially we're saying uh, this is how much, much is B, this is how much is C, we don't know how much is A, but the total is 40,392. Figure out what A is. And that wraps up 4th grade module 1 lesson 19 where the tables have been turned on our students and the, the students are being asked to create the word problem when they've been given the tape diagram.